Hello videos, welcome back to Multimagic's channel. In this video, what we are going to discuss is how to enable Razor Pay Payment Gateway in React Native. Okay, so to set up this project, you need to have the tools and versions which I have mentioned in the QR code React Native README itself. These tools and versions I have in my local system. So make sure that you have these tools and tools and versions. Okay. And uh, yep, let us go to the project. So once you have those tools, I guess that is fine. But other than that, what you need to have is you have to uh, set up your razor pay account. Okay. So for that, you need to visit this razor pay website. Okay, this razorpay.com and you can follow the video instructions. I actually, I haven't recorded anything, but uh, there's a flow. Okay. So if you can watch this one, two, three dot MP4 videos, which is already in the repository only. So if you can observe, yes, we have one dot MP4, two dot MP4 and three dot MP4. Okay. So yep. After following those instructions, uh, you'll kind of land into this page and what you have to do is you have to click on this button and you have to click the test mode. Okay. And the next thing what you have to do is, oh, oh I accidentally clicked it. Okay. That is fine. Uh, you have to go to your accounts and settings there. You can find your API keys. Okay. And if you click on that API keys, then uh, what you'll get is you'll get an API key and uh, you'll get a secret ID, which we are going to use later. Okay. So please store that. And uh, also it is one time downloadable. Okay. So, yep, I also added some images of my working okay, app. So basically we'll click on this PNO button and uh, it'll redirect to this page. And if you can see here, we have our own logo and uh, yep, we'll do some payments and uh, we have some dummy values like uh, for testing values. Okay. So if we enter this success at the rate razor pay, if we click on play pay now, then the payment will be successful. If we enter here failure at the rate razor pay, if you click on this pay now button and the payment will be failed. And after this uh, payment, yes, obviously this is the happiest part. <laughs> like we have, uh, thank you for your purchase. You paid thousand, thousand rupees. Okay. So, yep. Uh, to set up this project, what you need to do is, uh, you, have, you just have to clone this repository and you have to navigate to this uh, project directory. Okay. And to install all the dependencies <coughs> for this react native app, what you need to do is uh, you have to run this command npm install. That's all. And at last, if you want to run this project, you need to give this command, but uh, make sure that your Android device is connected and developer options and USB debugging is also enabled. Okay. Once if you run this command, you, you have to press a to run in Android. Yep. After that, uh, you can just uh, what is it? You can just click on this pay now button and you can check out the functionality. Okay. Yep. Let us go through the code. Okay. Uh, same in the pre as in the previous video, we have only one single file and you guys already know if you have been watching my previous tutorials, uh, you know, what is index or JS and what is add dot TSX. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yep, we have a state variable that is, uh, <clears throat> just to check whether the payment is success or not. Okay. And I initially hard coded my amount. Okay. It's a thousand rupees. It's in rupees. Okay. It's an INR. Okay. So we have to give some options. One is description after your purchase and you can keep some images. You, you can also write your currency and what you need to do is you have to give the key. Uh, which is, which has been placed in my environmental variable, if you observe here. Okay. So I don't want to show, we cannot show those details, right? So that's why I kept those and environmental variables clean. And uh, amount is in basically in razor pay, the amount is in Python. So, uh, we have to multiply our amount with hundred so that it will get, uh, in proper currency. Okay. So, yep, I written name as my guy ink and uh, I, we can give some more details. Okay. And we can also decide the theme of our payment pages and all checkout pages and all. Okay. So once after our options is set, okay, we are, uh, we have written a function that is called handle payment. 
and once after your payment i mean payment options and everything is set what we have to do is we have to call this api razor pay checkout dot open basically this razor pay checkout i have imported this from react native razor pay it's an M npm package uh, which you can install it by using npm install react native razor pay but you don't have to worry about that because i have already mentioned it in the package.json file okay so yeah uh, once the checkout page is open it will open with these options and then you have to follow all the process uh, traditional process which uh, if you want to pay through your phone pay upi or pay tm or using credit card or debit card okay so once the payment is successful we'll we'll see this log okay and for now we are going to use this uh, test values okay so that's how uh, let us then after following those test value, test values uh, let us see that uh, whether we are getting this payment successful message or not okay okay once the payment is success what we are going to display is we are going to display this container if payment is not success i mean initially initially the payment is not done right so what we are showing is we are just showing a button that pay now you can see this in the demo here this button i am speaking about this button okay so yep uh, if you click on this pay now button yep this function will be called okay so this is what we have been discussing so far okay so let us uh, go through the demo once uh, by that you can get some clarity <coughs> how our app is working and all okay clean uh, as i told we have to run this command npm npx react native start and we have to press a to run in android and i know uh, i connect my device too okay so yep the uh, apk is installing the build process is done and yep the bundling is also done now if you observe you can see the pay now button yep so let us do some payment okay so if you click on this pay now button see it will open this page see how beautiful it is okay so for now in upi i am going to click on this others and uh, if i click on this upi and let me type this success at the rate razor pay clean so i clicked on enter and let us see the payment is successful so yep and it will redirect to the page after some time and see there thank you for your purchase okay and you can also see this this payment successful message let me zoom it a bit okay you can see this right so hopefully i am very sorry because this is a dummy payment okay <laughs> okay uh okay uh, i also added some default on dummy values for uh, checking the payment of the card and for failure at the rate razor pay and you can i written all the test details so you can just uh, you don't need to worry you can just use these details and you can test other methods too okay yep uh, that's all about this uh, video i hope uh, you guys have enjoyed watching this and i hope you guys understood how the how to use this api and how we can implement a payment gateway using razor pay okay thank you so much bye bye see you soon